Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another iOS 15 video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can adjust voiceover settings very quickly with the new feature that is conveniently named Quick Settings. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and unlock my iPhone. 3.06 p.m. Okay. And Safari. We are now unlocked and we're currently sitting on the home screen. And I'm there so I can show you that this can be invoked from anywhere. And the way we do it is by doing a two finger quadruple tap. Now I'm gonna put the phone down on the t flat on the table so I can do that a little bit easier. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Voice over settings, heading. Okay. So as you heard, it said voiceover settings, and that's a heading. Done button. And right next to that is a done button, which is what you'd use when you're done adjusting things. So let's just flick right, and we'll see what's here. Filter, search, dictate, button. So there is a filter, so you could find, you could more easily find something. Activities, off, button, You can adjustable. turn activities on and off. Programming, off. And that, as you heard, is adjustable. So you can do a flick up and down to go through your various activities if you have them set. Always speak notifications. Off. Adjustable. There's always speak notifications. Audio ducking. Off. Adjustable. Audio ducking. Which you can adjust. Audio ducking. Off. So adjustable. any of these you can adjust. On. By double tapping off. on them. Always speak notification. Audio ducking. Off. Adjustable. So there's audio ducking. Braille alert messages. On. Adjustable. Braille alert messages. I'm just going to go through these kind of quicker. Braille auto advance. Braille auto advance. Braille, braille, advance, input, contracting, braille input. Braille output. Braille output. Contracting braille, braille output. Braille tables. Default. Button. Braille adjust, tables. Caption panel. Off. Adjustable. Caption panel. Direct touch. On. Adjustable. Direct touch. Gesture direction. Automatic. Button. Gesture adjustable. direction. Hardware typing feedback. Characters and words. Button. Hardware adjustable. typing feedback. Hints. Off. Adjustable. Hints. Image descriptions. On. Image adjustable. descriptions. Language. English. U.S. Button. Language. Adjust. Large cursor. Off. Large adjustable. cursor. Media descriptions. Off. Media descriptions. Navigate images. Always. Navigate button. images. Navigation style. Flat. Button. Navigation adjustable. style. We're taking a look at that in the next video. Phonetic feedback. Character in phonetics. Button. Adjustable. Phonetic feedback. Pitch change. Off. Adjustable. Pitch change. Punctuation. Off. Button. Punctuation. Send to HDMI. Off. Adjustable. Send to HDMI, which is for audio. Slide to type. On. Adjustable. Slide to type. Software typing feedback. Characters and words. A software Button. typing adjustable. feedback. So what you're seeing, these are in alphabetical order, Sounds. by the way. Sounds. Sounds. Speed rotor confirmation. Speed rotor confirmation. Speaking rate. 55%. Speaking rate. Speaking rate. Touch typing. Button. Typing style. Volume. 80%. Volume. Button. And volume. Adjustable. So again, you can adjust any of these. Typing style, touch typing, button, adjust, volume, 80%. Typing so let's style, say touch typing, speaking pitch rate. change, phonetic, navigate, pitch, punctuate, send to HD, slide to type, software type, sounds, speak rotor, confirmate, speaking rate, 55%, 45%, 50, 65%, 75%, 65%, 55%. And again, I just swiped up and down to adjust it. Now, since we're done, I'll go ahead and tap done button at the top right. Safari. And we returned back to the home screen. Now, I do want to show you that you can customize what is in quick settings. So, Weather settings. I'm going to go back in here into settings, settings. and go down, find accessibility. Controls. This home screen. Accessibility. But accessibility features. Vision. Voiceover. On. Voiceover. Voiceover. On. And you might remember in the last video, there was an option for quick settings. Robust audio commands activity rotor rotor action typing quick settings button. And there it is. I'll double tap on quick settings. Selected activities. This may remind you of the rotor settings, where the options can be selected and unselected. Reorder activities button. Dragable. And there is a control to reorder them. Selected. Always speak notifications. Now, as you're seeing, they're very much alphabetical. Reorder all selected audio document. and by default it looks like everything is selected to be here. Re re so selected activities. you could really customize this. Like, let's say selected. you don't use activities. 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 You unselect it. Reorder activity selected. Always speak notifications. Always speak. Don't use that either. You could unselect it. Reorder selected audio ducking. Reorder selected braille alert messages. 
I'll turn that one off too. Reorder Braille selected. Braille auto advent selected. Braille input. Braille input. Selected. Braille up. Selected. Braille tables selected. Hardware typing feedback. And reorder gesture direct selected. Gesture direction selected. Hints. Let's say I want to get rid of hints from that menu. So there we go. I've turned off a few. Now if we reinvoke settings. that quick settings menu by doing a two finger quadruple tap. Voiceover settings heading. And you'll see that done button filter search field dictate button audio ducking off and just those options. Braille auto advance fives button braille input contracted braille output contra braille tables default caption panel direct touch gesture direct hardware typing image descriptions language English are gone dictate button done button so I just went to the top right to select done and I double tapped Safari so that is a look at quick settings in iOS 15 this is something that immediately I didn't think of as really the use case for it but I do see it you can actually use this if you wanted to to declutter some of the options in your rotor because a lot of these can be adjusted from the rotor as well but having them in quick settings can make your rotor a bit more efficient okay well that was voiceover quick settings thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching this iOS 15 feature demonstration. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to learn about upcoming videos. You can also keep up to date by following me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching.